Welcome back to our video and today I'm going to be showing you the best XM4 class in my opinion. Agency suppressor, reinforced heavy, raider pad, 45 round mag, and then a bruiser grip for the movement speed and the fire accuracy. But for the mag, you can swap this out for say the 60 round if you're playing trios or quads, but 45 should be more than enough for solos and duos. And if you really hate the iron sights that much, you can put on a optic like the Microflex for the bruiser. And, or you can use this if you use this sight if you want. But, um, yeah, that's if you don't like the iron sights that much, you can do that. But, that will be that, and then I'm pairing this with the Car 98 Monolithic, the um, largest barrel, hack laser, variable zoom, sniper scope, or the sniper scope, and then strip up the group tape. And if I find a Car 98 that on the ground that does not have a variable sniper. Or even VLK, but sniper variable. I am actually going to be mad. Because just why? And so that's for the car. What you could do, compare this with the SPR. I can't give you a class though. Or you could pair this with, say, the M13. Or heck, even the carve. Or, um, Swiss, HDR, and then probably CRG, or probably all of the Marshman Rifle Sussex Snipers are really good to pair with the XM4. I like how you would use the FFAR if you use the FFAR during that meta. And then these are my perks, double time or EOD, and then overkill you have to use, and then amped. And then these are my tactical and lethals. Um, tactical can be swapped out for flashes or heartbeat. The only reason why I use stuns is because it slows the victims and move, movement speed and aiming and also it lasts a whole entire second more than the flash grenade and all it does is blinds the enemy for like for a second less than the stun and so if say you get flash you can easily just run out a window or just run away so you can do that and so that is my class Hope you enjoyed, and bye! Enemy soldier incoming! Enemy soldier incoming! 